let's say that you have a scenario where you have a 20 kilogram block or box being pulled to the right by an applied force of 100 newtons. I'll say that this angle is 30 degrees. It displaces 10 meters. When it's being pulled, it was already initially moving at 15 meters per second. And there is a force of kinetic friction acting against it of 20 newtons. So the goal is to calculate the amount of work done on the box, the final kinetic energy of the box, that is at 10 meters, and then the final velocity, using the idea of energy, not kinematics, to solve this. We still have to draw a force diagram. There's the weight. There's the applied force. There's the normal force, which is shorter than the weight. And then there's the kinetic friction. And that angle right there is 30 degrees. Now, to find the net work, you need to determine the work done by each force individually. We are going to uh, not calculate the work done by gravity because, because gravity is included in the potential energy equation. We say in a situation like this that it's an internal force. That's a discussion for another time. So I'm going to calculate the work done by the applied force, the work done by the normal force, and the work done by friction. In honors physics, we will not calculate the work done by gravity, but we will always include it in the gravitational potential energy equation. To calculate the work done by the applied force, you multiply the applied force times delta x times the cosine of the angle between the applied force and the displacement. Remember that this is always the angle between these two vectors. That will be 100 times a displacement of 10 meters times the cosine of 30 degrees. And that has, I've already calculated it, it came out to be 866 joules. Then you need to calculate the work done by the normal force. The work done by the normal force is going to be the normal force times the same 10 meters, because this displaces to the right 10 meters, times the cosine of the angle between the normal force and the displacement. Excuse me, I should have put delta x there for now. But it is 10 meters. Now this one actually works out rather nicely. Because what is the angle between the normal force and the displacement? This displaces to the right. The normal force is pointed straight up. This object, this box, displaces to the right. The normal force is pointed straight up. Those are at 90 degrees to each other. The cosine of 90 is 0. I don't need to do any more work. So the normal force, I'd have to work that out, but I, we don't need to. The answer is going to be 0, because 0 times anything is 0. So that's zero joules. What about the work due to friction? Friction always acts against a system. Work due to friction is the kinetic friction times the displacement times the cosine of that angle. The cosine or the angle uh, between friction and the direction of motion will always be 180 degrees without exception. That's not a simplification, it's always true. And the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. 
And so this term, you don't need your calculator for it. It's always going to be negative 1 when you're talking about friction. So the force of friction, I said, was 20 newtons times a displacement of 10 meters times negative 1, cosine of 180. Again, the cosine, I'll put that right over here just to help you remember. The cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1. So friction always comes out to be negative because it's always taking energy out of the system. The negative 200 joules. So to calculate the net work, add them all up. Well, work is a scalar quantity, so there's no direction associated with it, no like left, right, north, south. But it can be positive or negative. So we're going to add the applied force plus, sorry, the work done by the applied force plus the work done by the normal force, plus the work done um, by friction, which is against the system. So that's 866 plus 0 minus 200, which is 466. No, it isn't. It's 600. And, oh, my, devilish. Uh, 666 joules. What does that mean? It means that, well, whoever's doing this work, they have used up 866 joules of energy. They have 866 joules of energy less at this point than they did when they started. I'll say that one one more time. Whoever's doing the work has 866 joules of energy less here than they did there. Where did it go? It went into the box. But the box after all of that doesn't have 866 joules of energy because friction took out 200 joules of energy. So the box afterwards only has a net gain of 666 joules of energy after all of that. Okay, 